Well, good morning, beautiful people. It is also Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. And today is our 200th day for this Bible Challenge journey. Already 200 days. So I've been on YouTube for 204 days, but the Bible Challenge started four days later. And God gets the glory for all of that. Amen. And uh, we're going to get ready and read Joshua 23. And tomorrow will be our last day in the book of Joshua. And we'll be dashing right into the book of Judges. I did previously say we would be going into Ruth. And that was a mistake. Uh, Ruth is, the book of Ruth is after the book of Judges. So let's get ready to get started. <clears throat> My throat is getting better. But uh, still working on it. So bear with me. And grab your Bibles and follow along with me. Amen. Notice I have on a scarf around my neck. One of the missionaries kind of got on me a couple of weeks ago. She said, you need to have something around your neck. And uh, I said, you know, to myself, uh, I used to always wear something around my neck. I don't know how I got away from wearing a scarf around my neck. And um, yeah, so I have it around my neck today and I'm going to tighten it out, tighten it up once I get outside but i'm still inside so i don't want to get hot and all that so let's get ready and get started right now <clears throat> and it came to pass a long time after that the lord had given rest unto israel from all their enemies round about that joshua waxed old and stricken in age and joshua called for all israel and for the elders and for their heads and for their judges and for their officers and said unto them <clears throat> I am old and stricken in age, and ye have seen all that the Lord your God has done unto all these nations because of you. For the Lord your God is he that has thought that has fought for you. Behold, I have divided unto you by lot of these nations that remain to be an inheritance for your tribes from Jordan, uh, with all the nations that I have cut off, even unto the great sea westward. And the Lord your God, he shall expel them from before you and drive them from out of your sight. And ye shall possess their land as the Lord your God has promised unto you. Be ye therefore very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left. That ye come not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, uh, that's small g-o-d-s, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them, but cleave unto the Lord your God, as ye have done unto this day. For the Lord has driven out from before you great nations and strong. But as for you, no man has been able to stand before you until this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your God, he is that that fighteth for you, as he has promised you. Amen. And may God add a blessing to the reading of that wonderful word. And here's our uh, Google summary for the whole chapter. The book of Joshua does not openly name its author, but Joshua, the successor of Moses, as a leader over Israel, wrote much of this book. The last parts of this book were penned by at least another person after Joshua died. In Joshua 23, the land is at rest to Joshua is now old. And Joshua is now old. Joshua therefore begins to tidy up things before he goes, beginning with a recap of battle and, and finishing in the renewal of the covenant. Joshua warns against intermarriage. In other words, they were forbidden against associating themselves with these nations that remain among them. And if they intermarry with them, then God will not drive out these nations before them. Rather, they would become snares and traps for them, whips on their backs and thorns in their eyes until they disappear from the land which the Lord has given them. In verse 14, he reminded them that not one of the promises the Lord gave them has failed. In the last verse of this chapter 23, 
you will see that Joshua warns of the fatal consequences of rebelling against God. He stated that just us all, I'm sorry, just as all the great things God had promised them have come to pass. So he will bring on them evil things that he has threatened. Talking about God, just like all the good things has come to pass. He also let them know if you disobey my commandments, all the evil things that have threatened to happen to you, it's going to happen. He urged his people not to violate God's covenant by worshiping other gods, small g-o-d-s, as God's capital g-o-d, apostrophe s, covenant by worshiping other gods. Uh, God's anger will burn against them and they will perish from the land which the Lord has given to them. May God add a blessing to that wonderful uh, and powerful Google summary. And um, please like the video. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video. Don't, don't forget. Amen. Enjoy your day. Stay warm. Stay dry. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged and all that good stuff. Bye.